Hi everyone and welcome to another coloring video for the coloring 30 day coloring challenge from the daily marker Kathy and uh, I am still catching up I think we are on day 23 or something in the real world but um, as I have been sick and I'm still a little bit sick I still have a slight fever and a cough and all of those things but I really want to get these videos out there before these 30 days are up so I will be editing and editing and editing videos throughout this next couple of days so for today's video I'm coloring a walrus from the Polar Pal stamp set. I started by adding some R30 on his nose and on his belly and on his back fins because walruses usually have that. If you look on a photo of a walrus you will see that kind of pink color shown through. So I'm choosing to go with the R30 but I will be coloring over the R30 with the N0 as I'm using the N grays for the whole walrus. And therefore it will not be as um, as much shown also I don't have to think about trying to blend uh, the pink and the grays uh, blending between the color families can be hard sometimes some pens actually works great and some pens works not so great and it's just experimenting, finding what works uh, and don't work. The R30 is so light, so it has almost the lightness of the N0, maybe like an N1, which means that the blending uh, light-wise is actually quite easy. And as I'm working on top of the pink, um, I don't have to think about getting um, the blend to look even because I'm just covering it with a sort of even layer. For his whole body, as I already said, I'm working with the ends. I want him to be on the lighter side of grey, so I'm using N4, N2 and N0. I'm working both with cast shadows and rounded shadows to try to give him a little bit of a 3D dimension. Um, which I kind of like working with. And these walruses are super, super adorable. I really, really like them. For his clothing, I'm gonna use the BG combination that I've been using throughout this um, whole 30 day challenge. And that is BG45, BG32 and BG10. They are gorgeous and what I like using the 45 with the 32 is that the 45 has a slightly blue tint to it and shadows has, has a tendency to go towards blue or purple and therefore um, it actually gives the image a bigger dimension than if I would go with just a darker color in the same color scheme like the BG4. 34 I think there is 34 uh, if I would work with a darker color in the same um, number sequence like the um, 10 number sequence um, it would be it would look a little bit flatter it still looks great but it would look a little bit flatter so that's why I'm choosing to use the 45 and then I have the BG 10 as the lightest I love when I'm doing uh, color combinations and I keep within a color family like I'm doing here. Uh, I love going uh, both moving within the last number but also the second to last number. So basically with the last number I would go zero to four if it's possible or I would jump uh, two to three numbers. And with the second to last number, I would try to keep uh, doing one, two, three, because it um, does create, create a, a more simple blend. To finish him off, I'm using a black uh, gel pen for his nose and his eyes, just filling them in. Uh, to get them a little bit more shiny and the last part I'm adding a little bit of a white gel pen to give those eyes a little bit more life 
and that was the coloring for today um, if you have any questions just comment down below down below you find all the details and links to all of the supplies um, if you like this video please thumbs it up it means a lot to me if you want to see more videos like this hit that subscribe button if you haven't already if you have thank you so so much it means a lot to me and to all of you just watching thanks a lot too I really 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 love that you are watching my videos thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you later bye